Right, welcome to uh, to the Browns. Uh, it's a while since I've uh, posted a vlog. Uh, again, been quite busy. Uh, back in um, earlier in in the year, I uh, did a, um, a review and unboxing of um, my uh, PreSonus um, 16 channel uh, mixer for my recording studio. Uh, at the time, I did mention we were moving house, and uh, I would soon have room for. Uh, a recording studio set up within, within our new house. Uh, well, it's taken a while because we had a lot of uh, a lot of redecoration, a lot of repairs, a lot of renovation to do. Uh, but now I seem to have finally managed to get uh, everything up to speed uh, and uh, got everything set up uh, and ready to go. So today I'm just going to run through um, run through the recording studio uh, and the equipment uh, that I've got set up and uh, how it all works together. So starting at the, uh, the left-hand side of, uh, of my studio. Oh, bloody dogs are barking. Right, starting at the left-hand side of my studio, uh, I've got my guitars. Um, the ones I'm using at the moment is a, a lag electroacoustic uh, and a, a Hamer um, 335 copy. Uh, I've also got a, a drum there, which I think is a, probably a type of um, uh, DMB drum, I think. Um, but it actually came from Africa. Uh, now that was brought back from Africa by my aunt, probably when I was about 10. And I'm 65 in a few days, so uh, that's well over 50 years old. Uh, it's had a fair bit of use. It's uh, it's played a lot of gigs uh, in, in the past, and still gets used for percussion in the studio today. Right, working my way to the right, I've got the uh, the Mac uh, iMac, and that's running uh, Logic Studio X. Okay, and then I've got uh, the mixer that we uh, reviewed previously. Now this is great because with the with the uh, with the Mac because it's got uh, it's got sixteen channels and each one each of the channels here uh, feeds through on a separate uh, USB channel to the computer and therefore each one has a separate uh, link to it, the channels in um, uh, in Logic. So I've got eight mono channels and. Uh, Got uh, that's right, eight mono channels and uh, four stereo channels plus a USB return on the channel 17 and 18. I mean, it's a pretty good mixer, it's got a lot of controls on it, a lot of inputs at the moment. I mean, I tend to run uh, acoustic guitars into one and two because they've got, it's got instrument inputs. Um, and then I've, so I've got a uh, uh, my desk mic here into uh, four at the moment. Uh, I've got the other two mics in. Uh, sorry, I've got another mic into into a seven. I've got uh, uh, my uh, guitar DI into six, uh, and then I've got the uh, drum machine, Korg synthesizer, and a Roland keyboard into the other others at the moment. So, in terms of microphones, uh, I'm running these um, Rode M3s. I really like these, uh, both the vocal and instrument work. So, condensing mics run on the 48 volts. Phantom power, well, you can put uh, a battery into it if you want to use it uh, without phantom power. So, uh, next to me, I've got the, uh, excuse me, the dog barking. Honey, be quiet! <coughs> <coughs> Honey! Get in! Right, what we call tactile. Uh, this is a dumb keyboard. Uh, it runs into the computer, uh, and I can use it to uh, to play uh, the virtual synthesizers within Logic. Uh, it's also got the uh, controls for Logic, so I can uh, <coughs> play, record, everything else from there as well. So now this has a second use as well, because as well as having uh, USB into the computer, I've got a uh, MIDI outputs here, and 
uh, the MIDI outputs go uh, into this synthesizer box underneath, which is a Korg uh, it's, uh, 05 r -strap W. Now, this is really old. I bought this in 1989, I think. But it's a really great bit of kit. It's, uh, it, it doesn't have a great deal of real-time MIDI control, but the sample sounds within it are fantastic. And there's quite a lot of free sound sets out there on the internet for it as well. Uh, uh, the sound quality on that is really, really good. And I say it's been a very reliable bit of kit over the years. So. Uh, and I've got the, uh, the Roland VR09. Uh, this is a multi-purpose really uh, keyboard. It's got a workstation type of thing. It's got a good organ section in it with a nice uh, rotary sound. Uh, it's got uh, nice pianos in it and um, synthesizers with a bit of control. You can control cutoff and resonance and play with the sound programming a bit. So, uh, one of the great advantages of this uh, of this uh, keyboard as well, though, is that, that it's got a uh, uh, a wave player in it. So, uh, if I um, uh, record a backing track, say on uh, on uh, on Logic, I can then dump it onto um, uh, a USB stick, which goes into oh yeah. Still got a tiny USB stick in this tiny little hole there, um, and then I'm just use that as a player if we're uh, if we're doing gigs or uh, uh, even just practicing. I don't need to have the computer set up, so um, it's quite easy. Just uh, there's a selection of songs and things on it, and it just uh, this is just a backing track that I've recorded previously in Logic, so. Kit. Right, and then in the back here I've got uh, Hughes and Kettner um, Tube Meister 36. And uh, this has just got a new set of tubes in it, or oh, valves as we call them in the UK. Now I love this amplifier because it has a it has a built-in attenuator. Uh, you can run it at 36 uh, watts. Uh, you can run it at uh, um, 18 watts or down as low as 2 watts I think and then it's also got a silent setting because it's got a a, a power soak in it uh, and it's also got a, um, a, a a line out that you can put it straight into the uh, in, into the uh, the mixer but also you can actually run it to the speaker which I have under here just a, as a single speaker um, it's a uh, Celestian Vintage 30 speaker but you can run the two simultaneously, so I can have a, I can play the guitar through the speaker and still have the dynamics, but record directly to the desk as well, which is uh, really really good. Uh, underneath here, I've got um, my guitar processor. It's a New X uh, Cerberus. Uh, it's just been replaced actually because the first one I had uh, failed within its guarantee period, but nice bit of kit. Uh, and that, I've got that running um, into the um, uh, uh, running into the Houston Kettner at the moment. So. Uh, in terms of monitoring, um, I've got a pair of these uh, Yamaha monitors. I think these are 80 watts a piece, but I do pack a punch. It's a fair bit of adjustment in it as well, you know, for tuning it to the room. So, so now so I've got one in my unit there and one this side. I know these props are a bit low, <coughs> a bit low down for for the best monitoring, but a bit shorter space really. So, and then um, I've got my drum machine. Now this is a uh, an Alasis performance pad, but it's got the uh, SR16 drum machine built into it. I mean, this it sounds good. A lot of the drum patterns are a bit old-fashioned now, but uh, it does have the um, uh, the advantage that you. Uh, I'll probably have to turn the mixer up so I'm at the right channel. But you say you can hit it. And you can record that. You can also uh, MIDI it up and use it to um to trigger sounds uh, in the in the virtual drum kits and virtual synthesizers on the uh, 
uh, on the computer as well. Again, it gives me a bit of versatility. I mean, I do use some pre-programmed drum tracks to uh, use it as samples and that type of thing, but you know, if I want to hit the, uh, the skins, this gives me the, uh, the option to do that. And then I've got another uh, Rode M3 marker as well. So. I said, I think these are very good microphones. Excellent. Uh, I do have a um, uh, another spare uh, dynamic microphone as well. If I need to use that, perhaps for percussion or you know, uh, if a friend does beatboxing as well, uh, so I tend to use that. So, right. I hope that's given you an insight into um, uh, the Browns recording studio. Uh, and what I'll do another day is uh, sit down and uh, run through uh, rec recording, uh, uh, some tr laying down some tracks, uh, and show you how we uh, how we work here. So, I hope you enjoyed this, and uh, didn't get too many interruptions from barking dogs. And uh, I look forward to uh, seeing you on the next edition of the Browns video blog. Bye for now.